Hi, good morning, everybody. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Stephen Chen. He grew up in Southern California and has been living and practicing in the Bay Area for the past 10 years. He has trained as a pediatrician before specializing in sports medicine. And now he sees kids and adults for their orthopedic injuries. He is married to Maria and they live in Oakland with their two kids, Maddie and Brandon. Everybody, I give you the Dr. Stephen Chen. Um, my family, I'm blessed to have a great wife, uh, Maria and two wonderful kids, Maddie, who's in first grade and, uh, my son, Brandon, who's in kindergarten. Uh, we live in Oakland and my wife is also a doctor at Kaiser Oakland. Um, I guess I'll just do this without slides. Um, so what is a primary care sports medicine doctor? Well, I specialize in the non-surgical treatment of orthopedic injuries. So orthopedic surgeons uh, specialize in the surgical treatment of those injuries, but really roughly 90% of injuries can be treated without surgery. So sports medicine doctors need specialized fellowship training, and it's best to see someone who's board certified, uh, designated by the letter CAQSM uh, after their title. So certificate of added qualification sports medicine. So what can you expect when you come in for a visit? Well, it would start with us discussing uh, the details of your injury, uh, the where does it hurt, how long has it been, uh, how much pain are you in, et cetera. I do an exam on the relative body parts, looking at biomechanics. Uh, we may do some x-rays in the clinic. Uh, then we'll spend some time discussing the diagnosis. So what is the main problem? Uh, and we'll come up with a, a treatment plan that works for you whether that's physical therapy, chiropractic treatments, acupuncture, medical massage, et cetera, and can also include medications, uh, joint or muscle injections, or sometimes MRI imaging. So the question I get most during one-to-ones is, uh, how do I know where to go when I have pain? We have great health and wellness providers here in BNI, and we all have the commonality of being uh, able to help with pain in different ways. So it can be really confusing. Uh, but I think the answer is that whoever you choose to see first, will be able to guide you. Um, we're all collaborative and want the best for our patients. As for myself, uh, I kind of view my role in an injury almost like a general contractor of a project. So, you know, just like Reggie would guide a project bringing in specialists like Jesus, uh, Stephanie, Gary, etc. I can evaluate an injury by hearing the history doing that exam getting some imaging and then deciding what type of treatment would be best. You know, whether that's physical therapy, uh, Michael Hinderman, Hatija, Kristen, et cetera. So what makes my practice different? Um, I used to work at Kaiser and it's a really good system, but as a doctor, you're significantly limited in the time you have with the patient. So I would typically get 20 minutes uh, for a visit and that's if the patient was even on time. So I'm passionate about uh, helping people get back to the sport and activities they love to do. And that starts with a good evaluation and especially good education on their injury. So I'm willing to give more of my time to achieve that uh, much more than most doctors would. Other strengths in my practice, uh, the clinic is one-stop shop. Uh, we have in-house x-rays, braces, physical therapists. Uh, it's in a great convenient location downtown along the 680 24 corridor um, next to the mall and experience. I've been practicing for 10 years. Uh, the clinic is 20 plus years old. And most of the physical therapists there um, that I work with have been there 10 plus years. And lastly, we have the broad resources of a hospital behind us. So the insurances, I accept uh, all the PPO insurances, including Medicare. Um, unfortunately, I can't take any HMO plans like Kaiser. Um, uh, I had some slides about cases. I'll just kind of talk through them. Uh, just to give an idea about the type of things that I see in my practice. So case one is a high schooler um, soccer player who collided with another player, fell to the ground, complaining of headaches, feeling foggy. Um, we diagnosed her with a concussion, uh, monitored her symptoms with computer cognitive testing, uh, and got her back to her sport. Uh, another case is a 48-year-old man with chronic ankle pain in the Achilles tendon, uh, spreading into the calf. So no specific injury. Uh, described it as tight and bothersome. He loved to play pickleball. Uh, we did some PT and there was some improvement, but no resolution. So we did an MRI, uh, which showed some degeneration of that Achilles tendon. I got him to Hatije and he did awesome after that. Um, case three, a 55 year old man doing a DIY project fell off a ladder. Uh, he couldn't lift his arm much at all. Uh, got an MRI, saw a partial rotator cuff tear. So most people think that, you know, a tear automatically equals surgery, but it depends on the extent of that tear. So 
we started some conservative treatments for that. Uh, we did do a cortisone injection and got a lot of his function back uh, to where he could do everything normally with surgery or without surgery. Um, another case, case four, is a 35-year-old woman uh, with repetitive everyday use elbow pain, working from home uh, on the computer, no specific injury. Uh, she had some elbow tendinosis, uh, a little different than tendinitis. Um, it was stubborn, but improving with bracing and PT. And we were last discussing some chiropractic treatment uh, with ART. So I wanted to kind of highlight that obviously I see sports injuries, um, but there are many people that are not quote unquote athletes that come to see me for um, a wide range of different orthopedic injuries. So our BNI Health and Wellness, again, works uh, collaboratively. I mentioned Michael Hinderman, Hatije, Kristen, who I use for muscle injury and pain relief. Uh, Brandon Glass is someone I can refer to after the acute phase of an injury. Um, once that's mellowed out, who can help maintain mobility, strength, and overall fitness. Rebecca Walker is someone I can refer to for nutritional advice uh, and that can help with overall wellness and boost healing potential. Uh, Trina is someone I can help out. Uh, I can ask to help with mental health aspects. That's also an important part of physical healing, so as well as others in our uh, sphere. So my website is eSpaceSportsDoc.com. It has a lot of information about me, the clinic, as well as all the types of injuries I can take care of. Um, I've had one-on-ones with most of the people in the group, but I'd like to make sure I talk to everyone. So please reach out if you have a one-to-one, -one, uh, if, if you have time for a one-to-one, -one, if I haven't quite gotten to you yet. So thanks a lot. Sorry about the technical difficulty there. <laughs>